Hello, I am super stoked to show you this new little doohickey called the Oculine. Now, the folks out at Oculine actually knew them beforehand. Arun Nagdev, who's one of the people of Oculine, is actually a really good friend of mine. And I just met uh, Justin Moore uh, at ASAP actually this year. And they were nice enough to send me this so that I could see how it works. Now, I have used this clinically a bit, and it's kind of sweet. But let's do just a bit of an unboxing here. So this is how the box comes. Kind of cool, kind of nifty. Get that out of here. And we are going to remove it. So pretty simple. Just has the thing in here. And we'll put this device over here, see if there's any of their goodies. So we have some cleany stuff in here. Uh, some couple extra rings here, some alcohol pads, and it looks like some instructions. Cool. So just in case you didn't watch this tutorial, there is this thing, which will give you a little card for how to use it. And yeah, single one. All right, so we're gonna put this here. We don't like messes, do we? All right, looks like little eyeballs here, almost like a little like outlet, like you plug something in there and it works. All right, toss this out of here. I'm going to take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the core ultrasound.com website. That is ultrasound podcast, five minutes, Sono ultrasound of the week clip bank. And we also have our courses page where we have the core ultrasound fundamentals and core ultrasound question bank, where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos, explaining the question, check it out and back to your video. We don't need those, and we have our device. Now, first off, it looks pretty sweet, actually. It is fully articulating this way, this way. All that looks great. Then we have this little bumper here. That's for the cord. We bring this out, and that's where the cord goes. Nice little label right there. Now, with this, what you need is you need to have a MagSafe device. I actually really like to use this. This is my 12 mini. Any of the minis will actually work. And have that, and what's cool about it is that this is MagSafe. So you put it there, boom. It's connected, it's good to go. This is great. Also works for the bigger phones. Here, here's my giant one. And you can see this one, it could be a little more un unwieldy here, but it's kind of cool. You can fully articulate it, you can bring this back. Now, let me show you how to put the butterfly transducer, which is what this is made for, put the butterfly transducer and connect it. So it's kind of nifty. You see there's a little slot kind of right here. Line those up right there. So you see that that slot right there is nice and lined up. We're gonna put the transducer on here. Just like this, we'll slide the cord through the middle there, and then peel this back. Struggling here. And we are gonna wrap this through here, like so. Trying to make sure it doesn't get kinked. We wrap it up here. All right, you wanna leave a little bit of slack Actually, probably could do a little more slack here. You see how it's like kind of messed up? Actually, I want to do that again because I don't like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out like this. Redo it. All right. So let's give it a little bit of slack, maybe like right there. Do the same thing. Hold it here. Wrap it all the way around. I'll probably leave a little slack as well. Bring it out there, that looks a lot better. All right, so here you have your probe and now you just slap your phone on it like that. Then you attach your cable here. And then you are good to go. All right, and we can see now that it is nicely connected. Now, if you notice, I'm kind of moving this around a lot, actually. I'm wiggling it around, and you can see that the Mini, at least, is, is staying on there pretty nicely. You can also 
I'll show you here, you can adjust this angle. So if you want to do an inline approach, let's say like this, you're good. If you want to do an out of plane, like for a out of plane uh, IV, for instance, you're good to go right there. Works pretty sweet. And then of course you can always change this angle as well. Make it a little flatter right here. If you need it more flat, then you can make it less flat like that. So the 12 mini, I think works the best for this, but if you want to use the Pro Max, I don't really have anything in between, it's either like small or giant. If you want to use that one, you can see here that it is a bit more unwieldy here. So it's a big kind of size difference here. And moving it around actually does it does actually, if I fling it around too much, it will actually fall off, which I don't think any of us actually want. Um, oops, sorry. There, tap the camera a little too hard there, which we don't really want. So while the big phones definitely work, what I would actually suggest is using the mini. So here's like, you know, the difference in size. The minis actually like, I think work a lot better for this specifically, but it's an amazing tool. I've actually used it a bit on patients and I actually would recommend this, um, but I would recommend using the mini for it, not the large phones. I'm sure you wanna see what this looks like on an actual patient. So this is performing an owner nerve block. One thing I wanna mention is that if you have the device that you're using at a bit more of a 90 degree angle to what you're actually looking for. So I'm coming at it this way, coming out this way, it's about 90 degrees. This right here, the cable can kind of get in the way. So just something to be aware of. It's definitely not completely prohibitive, but just be aware that that's a thing and try not to touch it, uh, especially if you're doing an IV with a nerve block, it matters a little bit less if the more, uh, I guess, proximal end um, of the cannula up here um, touches a little bit of that cable, but obviously try to avoid that. And you'll see this needle uh, come into view here. I'm using a, I believe that's a 22 or a 20 gauge uh, nerve block needle right there. You can see it approaching the ulnar nerve, which you can see right here. And we do a little test squirt right there. I have somebody else pushing the anesthetic for me. And then I get to right deep to that owner nerve and we do a little push right there. And you can see how it's very easy to get visualization of what you're doing using that oculine. Now you can also do this with ultrasound guided IVs. You can see here, I have it on a non 90 degree uh, angle relative to the IV. So I can actually not really worry about that cable. And that obviously is super duper important if you're actually leaving the uh, cannula in there to not actually touch that cable because it's not necessarily clean although I'm sure you cleaned everything. Now on this one, the patient uh, definitely does not need an ultrasound guide IV. This is quite superficial, but this is just to be able to show how useful this oculine is uh, with visualization um, while you're performing procedures such as ultrasound guided IVs and nerve blocks. So you can see here, very superficial. I barely poked it under the skin, I swear. Um, got a little bit of that posterior wall, sorry. And then I'll back it up and then start walking it into that IV using my sequential needle tip tracking into that vein, excuse me. And you can see here a successful cannulation with good visualization using that oculine. You wanna say hello? 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 Oh, you're done with me? Oh my God, yes. All right, get down. As you can see, this is actually very helpful when using the butterfly to do bedside procedures. Now, I am not stoked about this, but oftentimes we're having to do our ultrasound guided procedures in less than ideal circumstances. We're doing it in chairs, we might be doing it in the hallway, we might be doing it in little MSC rooms. And when that happens, this thing is so helpful. Thanks so much to the folks at Oculine for sending me one of these to evaluate. If you have any questions, here is the link to access their website. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.